Okay, so now we're into MCP training video number two, which starts with vertical speed modes. Starting with this video number two onward, we'll actually be in the flight simulator cockpit, as you can see. I'm going to present the FCOM2 ground school material inside the cockpit and use the MCP panel itself while I teach. Then I'll finish up the vertical speed ground school training with a few flight demonstrations. Hopefully this new combined training format will be more enjoyable for you. So let's get the cockpit set up. I'm using a uh, product called uh, Screen Marker so that I can highlight um, areas in the cockpit as I talk. And that'll uh, work like this. So here's the vertical speed uh, switch on the MCP panel that uh, we're going to be focusing on. And this is the FMA, the flight mode enunciator, in the uh, primary flight display, the PFD. And we're going to actually be focusing on the right-hand side, which is the pitch um, section of the FMA. And... Um, I'm also going to be uh, using my SIM checklist uh, product to present the FCOM2 uh, ground school material. And so I'll be um, popping that window uh, up and down uh, throughout the presentation. So let's get started. There are five pitch modes and two sub modes. We're going to be focusing on vertical speed, but I want to cover uh, what the pitch modes are, even though we're going to start with vertical speed on this particular video. Um, I just want to uh, cover the five uh, pitch modes. So the first one, um, which we've just seen, is a vertical speed. The second one is level change. These are uh, our pitch modes. Level change is over here. VNAV is a pitch mode, of course. That's located here. Altitude hold. And the APP or approach mode switch. So those are our five basic pitch modes. There are uh, two submodes, and the two submodes are the vertical speed thumb wheel, located here, and the second submode is the altitude intervention button, located here. The altitude intervention button is associated with your active route in the FMC. We're going to start with the vertical speed switch located right here. The FCOM2 on page 4.10.9 says that when you push the vertical speed switch, four things will happen. That it will arm or it will engage vertical speed command mode. Actually, this is a bit misleading. You cannot actually press the vertical speed switch to arm it. I'll talk about how you can arm vertical speed in a minute. But you can press it to engage it. You just can't press it to arm it. So that statement in the Boeing manual is a bit misleading. Number two, when pushing the switch, the vertical speed switch, it commands pitch to hold the vertical speed at the time of engagement. And that speed at the time of engagement can be found in the vertical speed window located right here. Three, it will automatically engage the auto throttles in speed mode to hold the selected airspeed at the time of engagement. And that is uh, enunciated on the FMA um, right at the top of the PFD in this area right here. We'll get a look at that 
when I get to the flight demonstration portion. So uh, again, number three, it will automatically engage the auto throttles in speed mode to hold the selected airspeed at the time of engagement. And four, it will enunciate VS in the flight mode enunciator at the top of the PFD and illuminate the green light in the vertical speed switch itself. So again, to recap, on the right hand side, we'll see vertical speed or VS and the green light in the vertical speed switch light itself located right here. All right, let's talk about vertical speed uh, being engaged. VS is displayed in the FMA, so you will know for sure that you are in vertical speed mode. You cannot depend on the green light in the vertical speed switch to tell you that you are in vertical speed mode. You have to rely on the FMA. The vertical speed window labeled vertical speed changes from being blank to showing you the aircraft's present vertical speed. Vertical speed window right here. And finally, using the vertical speed thumb wheel, you can adjust the aircraft's rate of climb or descent. Now let's talk about vertical speed being armed. Remember, the Boeing FCOM2 manual states that you can push the vertical speed switch to arm it, but that's not really true. When you push the vertical speed switch, only two things can happen. One, you will engage vertical speed command mode, or two, nothing will happen at all. But certainly pushing it, you will not be able to arm it. So vertical speed becomes armed if the pitch mode is currently in altitude hold at the selected MCP altitude and a new MCP altitude is selected greater than 100 feet. So let me say those two things again. The pitch mode is currently in altitude hold at the selected MCP altitude and a new MCP pitch altitude is selected greater than 100 feet. That will arm vertical speed. With vertical speed armed, you can engage vertical speed by moving the vertical speed thumb wheel. I will be demoing this in the flight simulator in a few minutes, so you can see this in action. And I think that will help drive this arming point home. Vertical speed will automatically engage while in altitude acquisition mode when you dial in a new MCP altitude, again, greater than 100 feet. Vertical speed can be selected toward or away from your selected altitude, so you need to be aware of that. You want to make sure you're selecting vertical speed in the correct direction, up or down. So just be aware of that. Vertical speed can be selected toward or away from your selected altitude. And finally, vertical speed is inhibited if, one, Altitude hold mode is active at the selected MCP altitude. This is the state where you can push the VS switch and nothing happens. And number two, vertical speed is inhibited if the glide slope is captured, which means you're in approach mode. The flight crew training manual on page one. Dot 45 gives a Boeing recommendation on when to use vertical speed and when to use level change. Now, we haven't learned about level change yet, but level change uses pitch to control speed. Vertical speed uses pitch to control the vertical speed and the auto throttles to control airspeed. So with level change, we call that pitch on speed, which means your pitch attitude changes as needed to maintain your target airspeed. With vertical speed, we call that throttles on speed because the auto throttles are controlling airspeed while pitch attitude changes to maintain the desired vertical speed. Now, why is this important to know? When using the autopilot, flight guidance, or in this case, the MCP panel, 
At the airline training level, it's required that you know what is controlling your aircraft's speed, pitch, or throttles. In the case of using vertical speed, throttles are controlling your airspeed. Now, is there any time that you can use vertical speed when making altitude changes greater, one, greater than 1,000 feet? Yes. You might want to deviate from the Boeing standard when making a descent in rough air or turbulent air. Descending with level change will cause the autopilot to constantly adjust pitch to keep the target airspeed. In rough air, this may cause an uncomfortable ride for the passengers. If you descend instead using vertical speed, the ride will be more stable because pitch won't change as much to maintain the target vertical speed. Remember, the vertical speed versus level change usage is just a guide from Boeing. Autopilot Flight Director System Limitations There are no specific MCP vertical speed limitations in the manual, which is in FCOM 1, limitations page 10.5, which covers Autopilot Flight Director System Limitations, but nothing specific for uh, MCP vertical speed limitations. This is the vertical speed flight demonstration portion of the video. I'm going to demonstrate three different scenarios for vertical speed usage. The first one is vertical speed being inhibited during altitude hold. I'm going to show you that one first because that's how we're actually going to start the flight demonstration. Here's a good example of not relying on the green light in the switch to tell you what pitch mode you're in. Here the FMA is clearly showing us an altitude hold while the altitude hold switch green light is extinguished. But we're in altitude hold. So we've got to always rely on the FMA for our MCP status. So, um, the first demonstration, again, is the vertical speed inhibited during altitude hold. So that means if I press vertical speed, which I'm doing here repeatedly, you can see that nothing happens. Nothing in the pitch side of the FMA shows up. No VS arm, no vertical speed command mode, no green light in the switch. So VS is inhibited during altitude hold when we are at the selected MCP altitude, 7,000 feet. Number two, I'm going to show normal vertical speed usage, which includes vertical speed arming. And then number three, I'll show vertical speed engaging while in altitude acquisition mode. Now, altitude acquisition is a short time frame when the autopilot is changing the aircraft's pitch rate in order to acquire the MCP altitude. So it's a, it's a brief period of time when you're in altitude acquisition mode. But during that time period, I'm going to show that you can engage uh, vertical speed by s selecting uh, a new altitude, changing your altitude. So uh, let's focus back on number two, normal vertical speed usage, which includes vertical speed arming. So we're level at 7,000 feet. I'm going to dial down the altitude to 6,000 feet. And notice what happens as soon as I start moving the MCP altitude, uh, adjusting the window down to 6,000 feet. Right in the uh, right side of the FMA, we get vertical speed armed. So vertical speed is now armed. So now, in order to, to actually change altitudes, I can do it one of two ways. I can press the vertical speed switch, which will engage vertical speed, but our vertical speed rate is zero, so nothing's going to happen. The preferred method, the better way to do that, is to use a, a vertical speed thumb wheel, and I'm going to descend. We're at 7,000 feet. I'm going to descend down to 6, so I'm going to be rotating the thumb wheel towards the down direction. And as soon as I start to do that, two things will happen. Vertical speed arm will change the vertical speed command mode. And we'll start down because I'm changing the vertical speed from our current zero to a downward uh, rate selection.
So here we go. I'm going to dial down. There's vertical speed command mode. We get vertical speed in the green, the green uh, light in the vertical speed switch. I'm going to dial down a thousand feet per minute. So we're starting down. So you saw what happened. We got vertical speed armed as I change the selected uh, altitude hold altitude from 7,000 to 6,000. And by using the thumb wheel, I was able to engage vertical speed command mode and start down at the same time by selecting uh, my rate of descent. Now, as we approach 6,000 feet, watch the right side of the FMA. We're going to go into the altitude acquisition mode. And I'm going to continue down to 5,500 feet when we get to altitude acquisition to show you that vertical speed will uh, re-engage. So here we are. There's altitude acquisition. I'm going down to 5,500 feet. And there's vertical speed command mode re-engaged. So I sort of combined the second and third demonstration into one, the normal descent. I'm going to climb back up to 6,500 feet to show you that again. And then I'm during altitude acquisition, I'm going to continue the climb to 7,000 feet. So I'm just going to do the same thing, demonstrate uh, number two, normal vertical speed usage and the alt altitude acquisition vertical speed engaging, but going uh, up upward. All right, so we're in altitude hold, 5,500 feet, 5,500 feet. So I'm going to select 6,500 feet. We're going to climb up to 6,500. Notice vertical speed is, uh, once again, it's armed. This time, I'm just going to select vertical speed switch just to show you. We get vertical speed at the time of engagement at zero, so nothing is happening but we're in vertical speed command mode. On the descent, I used the thumb wheel and did both uh, change the rate and engage vertical speed command mode. Here, I'm just pushing the switch and then I'm gonna go up 1,000 feet a minute. And there we go. We're starting up, vertical speed command mode. We're going to 6,500 feet. And once again, when I get into that altitude acquisition transition phase, I'm going to keep the altitude window uh, going up to 7,000 feet, which will take us out of acquisition, altitude acquisition mode and engage uh, vertical speed. All right, so we're coming up on 6,500 feet. We're going to be watching the FMA. There it is, altitude acquisition. I'm going to keep descending up to 7,000 feet. You'll notice that automatically engaged vertical speed command mode. And we, we continue our climb up to 7,000 feet. So that completes the flight demonstration, the uh, three flight scenarios for vertical speed. Okay, so this concludes the training video on the MCP vertical speed modes. Please email me if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.